everyone, welcome to Watercolor Wednesday. I am Bonnie Krebs, creator of Watercolor the Art Impressions Way. And uh, this week I'm going to do a little project with this little girl and the wildflowers. So at my last Facebook Live, I did this project here and I put this little guy in these wildflowers. And this was a really popular um, instructional. People love this, but they struggled a little bit with these flowers. And so what I thought this week I would do is do another one with the little girl and maybe do a little troubleshooting with these flowers. So they look really simple and they are, but there are a couple of rules that you want to remember. So uh, let's get started and I'm gonna show you what I'm using here. So, you know, when you're doing these wildflowers, really honestly, you can use any flowers that you have. What you wanna use is a filler, some sort of uh, larger bloom in the background that can kind of fade out, and then something uh, for sure a long stem. Uh, something that's a little more detailed like this one. Now you can use any. Uh, what you also don't want to use is a giant bloom unless you're putting it way behind the character. A in other words, you're putting it way in the foreground. So try not to use anything that's too huge. Use a smaller bloom, you know, like I said, more of a filler flower and then more of a detail. So you will kind of have a mix of the two. So really, I'm gonna show you what I'm using, but um, like I said, you can use what you have. So I'm using this little girl in the swimming suit and um, you can use, of course you can use the little boy, you can use any of the little girls. Uh, in the foliage set three, I'm gonna use these two grasses here and this little, this little vine here. So again, a smaller vine because you're using a smaller character and especially when you're putting it into the background. You could use this one too. Uh, in the mini flower set, I'm going to use this one. Uh, of course you could use this. Really honestly, you can use any long stem that has a smaller bloom like that. Uh, in here, so I'm going to use the filler flower. This is such a go-to. It's really kind of a mainstay. Uh, and here, I just grabbed this one. So honestly, what I did was I pulled out my flowers and I grabbed about five of them and then we're ready to go. So here's another one that you could use. This would be a really good one to use um, in the background because it is more detailed and it gives you a little more definition. And really what you're trying to do is do something different. Here's another one. Like honestly, you could use any of these. You want to uh, mix it up a little bit so that your flowers look a little different from each other. Okay, so let's get going, and I'm going to uh, I'm going to show you this one. Now, here's here's one that I did. So here we go to the troubleshooting. Now, uh, you could put her completely into the flowers like this. Uh, you have to be careful, though, that the flowers don't overwhelm the character. Now, I think, personally, this is a little busy. It's a bit much, and if I were going to do this again, I would keep her as the focal point, and I would make the blooms and the grasses and everything way, way lighter way lighter and actually it's better if you can stop right before you get to the head of the character it just it just seems like you are um, you're taking away from the focal point and you're sort of burying this little character in all these floral florals and I'm not saying that it can't be done I'm just saying that it looks better to me to have the little um, the the focal point of the character which is this area above all of this busyness here. So uh, if you're going to do that, you want to really pull this character out by changing the colors. So I've used a purple, kind of a purple and a violet in the flowers. So I've completely switched and done more of a red and a blue in here just to bring her out a little bit. So again, keep that in mind. Now I've changed the clothing on this one. So it was the same girl with a hat. I just, you know, added two little lines for the shorts. That's, that's really all I've done, and I can we can do that on this one. We can change the clothing. Uh, one thing though, when you're making a shirt instead of a swimsuit, this is tight on the body, so it's not going to have any white, because white means is catching the light, and white means an edge, and an edge you know, on clothing means that the, the clothing is wrinkled. So you can see these little white areas that I've left in here for the clothing, and that gives you the idea that it's loose. So when you're doing a swimsuit, you don't need to have that, although you do need to have a little dark area. See right around here where her little booty is. Um, just put a little darker area around there. So keep those things in mind. Uh, the other thing about this when you're doing the, um, the clothing, uh, this is really important how these lines go. So uh, if, you, if you make an arc that goes up, you are really you know, bringing this char character forward and she's gonna look like she's got her hair down in the front of her face and her hat covering her face. And this will look like the front of the character. So it's really, really important to make that arc going down. And I'll show you that on the clothing when we, do on, when we go on to this one. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started on here. And let's start out by putting in that character and getting that done. 
So I'm going to ink this little girl up, and of course I'm I'm only going to ink the top the to the um, to the tops of her legs. So I'm leaving the lower area off, and I'm going to just use a light color. So this is a 992. It's sort of a grayish a grayish brown, and it will work great. And you know you don't really need to um, you know have a straight line across here. You just want to show that the legs you know are sort of buried into the grass. So there we've got our little character. Now let me just show you what I mean by the lines. So if if you were to make this line up like this, do you see how that knee comes forward now instead of back? The knee comes forward and it looks like this little girl has got her hat down over her face. So it really, really uh, makes a difference. And sometimes these little things, you know, you can look at your you can look at your image, your painting when you're finished, and it will just bug you because your eye knows that it's not right. And it will bug you and you don't know what it is. But it really is something as simple as how you make the line. Now see when we make the line like this, see how that changes the character? She's leaning forward a little bit, her legs are bent this way, and this is the back now of the character. Okay, so let's go ahead and add some water now to her. And we don't need to do a lot. So we're just pulling a little color out of the lines. And especially when you're doing the skin, don't pull out a lot of this color. Uh, we're gonna add color to her, so we don't wanna muddy up her skin tone too much. And then we'll come down around here. So pull this color out. Of course, you know, she's she's a she's a contour, so she's got a rounded body. So you don't want to, I mean, you want to make sure that you're seeing a bit of a highlight there. Now this hat is tipped. So it you would think that the top of the hat, the highlight would be here, but actually it's here. It's at the very tip because the hat is tipped backwards. So this, the top of the hat, is actually not the top of the image. It's in this area right here and this area here. So this is where your highlight is. Okay, so let's go on and add a little color now to her. And if you watch the, uh, the Facebook Live, you can see how to change the ethnicity of this little character, which is super, super easy to do. You can make her as dark or light as you would like. So even the tops of the arm, now see the hat tips backwards. So you are going to see a highlight on the top of her little shoulders. And it's better not to overwork the skin, it really is. You can always come back and add a little more color to it. Okay, so let's add some color now to her little top. And by the way, that was a that was a 912 that I used for her skin. And this is a 379. And I'm just going to take a little bit and just brush on a little bit of this color. Now remember the you know, you wanna put in some of these white, you know, areas. So don't worry about it too much. Just leave some little places white, just so you can see where her little shirt um, would be a little wrinkled. And all of these things add to the dimension of your character. You know, you don't, we don't want it to look like a coloring book. That's the last thing we want. And let's just leave her little shorts white so in order to do that, we wanna put just a little color onto the sides and just a tiny bit, just to make sure that this is not looking flat. And let's put just a little bit of a dark edge. And what that does, this little darker edge, that brings it away from her little booty. So here, here she is, her little, um, her little bottom is here. And this is, this is darkening this area, so it's pulling her shirt down and around. And you can add uh, some detail now to it. Uh, don't worry about being too careful with this. Remember, you want to follow the contour of the body. Okay, just like that. So let's add some color now to the hat. And let's add something bright here. Let's make this hat pink. If this were my little granddaughter, she would have a pink hat for sure. Granddaughters, both of them, all three of them would. Okay, so we're leaving that highlight. 
and we're leaving the highlight at the top as well. So stay in each section. Always remember to do that. Start light and then you can always add more color as you go. So you can just do another pass and add more color in here. And we're seeing that we're seeing that highlight on the edge where the light is catching that edge. And that was just the that's just the bright pink. So now uh, this is the 947. I'm just going to put this onto her hair. But of course you can use um, you can use any color. Try to try to leave some uh, just a few little highlights on there as well. Okay, and we've got her finished. So we're ready now to put the flowers into, into the background. And I'm just gonna just pull a little of this color to the outside. Just to kind of soften these lines up a little bit. Okay, the first thing that uh, we want to do is figure out where we're going. So if you, if you need to put a pencil line in here, just a light pencil line in here so that you can see where you want to place your flowers, go ahead and do that. You can always erase this later. And it sort of gives you a boundary. And if you're going to, now like mine, I cut it out in an oval. So uh, I don't, you know, when I cut it out, I like to see a white border here. So I don't, I don't like to cut it, cut it out right along um, where the color is. So if you do that, just draw a little line out so that you know where your boundaries are. It just makes it much easier that way. So I'm going to uh, just make sure my stamps are clean. So I'm just using a baby wipe here and I have some color on this. I have some color on this little filler flower. I wanna get that off. And usually I just go like this, but I'm using yellow. So this is one of the few occasions that I use yellow. And in that case, I mean, you really do have to clean your stamps off. You really do. Okay, so we're starting with this one. And I'm using the yellow. This is a 993 yellow. And I'm just getting this kind of in the background. So again, you just wanna just put this in kind of wherever, kind of random. And then kind of up, you know, up the circle a little bit. Uh, maybe just a few in here. And then maybe a smaller one. I mean, really, there's no right and wrong way to do this. Now, the reason that I put all the colors in first and then add the water is so that I don't muddy the colors. And normally, what we do is we stamp and add water immediately and then go to the next one. But in this case, we want it to look like um, more of abstract and we just want it to look like blotches and splotches of color everywhere. So I do it that way just so that I don't muddy the colors. And really when you're adding water to it, you're just touching the image and just letting it bleed out. That's basically what you're doing. So let's go on to the next one. And I grab this one. These little, they look like little um, tiny hearts. And just again, you're getting this in here a bunch of times. So in a circle, next to each other. Um, uh, just try to avoid anything that looks uniform. You know, and most of the time what I do is I, I, I color parts of the stamp. I really do. I don't ever color the whole thing because I don't want, I don't like that uniform uh, look. Okay, let's go to, uh, let's go to some green now. This is the number 177. Now again, you, we don't wanna see the whole stamp. Anytime you stamp and you're showing the whole stamp, that's the end. And in this case, we don't wanna see the end of, it, of anything. We don't wanna see the end of the grass. We don't wanna see where the horizon line is. We don't wanna see the end of the stamp. So the top, we wanna to see the tops because she's in a group of wildflowers and we don't know where the bottom is because it's so thick. So just the tops. And again, at the very top, just the just the tip, just the tips. It's all about the illusion, you know, it really is. Here's some grasses. Now this, in this case, um, let's just look at this really quick. In this case, here's the tall grass. If you were to stamp this like this or like this, you immediately have a horizon line. Here's the end. 
And that's the last thing we want to see here. We don't want to see where the end is. We want it to fade out. So that's why we're going to use the tip. So just the tip like this. And then when we blend that out, it sort of fades down to the bottom so that we're not seeing this harsh line here. And we, we know that's the end because what will happen is it looks like she's standing in a hole. And the same thing with the little grass. You know, we don't want to use this one because this, this shows the bottom. There's the bottom. There's the horizon. And if you were to put this you know, in here somewhere like this, she's immediately in a hole. She's standing in a hole. And you've, you've shown the horizon line here. And unless this is a hill and all of this is down below, um, it looks like she's completely cut off and, and we don't know where her, where her legs are. Uh, the other thing is too, is uh, don't, don't make any horizon lines. So don't, don't go this way. Don't go this direction you know, when you're coloring in it. See, it does the same thing. Anytime you create a horizon line like this, uh, you're cutting off you're cutting off the image and you're saying, here's where the ground is and here's where she's standing. And clearly, she's, she's in a hole. Okay, so this is a no, this is a no, and this is a no. Okay, and if you just kind of avoid those no's, you're gonna be fine. You're not gonna have any problems. So remember the tops, just the tips, and just kind of get this color in. And then let's put, oh, let's put a little bit, bit of this kind of where her legs are. We don't have anything in here. So see here, we don't know where this, where this is really ending. And when we add water to this, it's just going to kind of blend out. And you can see I've also kind of kept it away from her body a little bit. So she's pretty light and the colors that she has are, that she's wearing are light. So we don't want to muddy her up too much either. Okay, let's put in our, let's get our long stem in here. And I'm just, I'm just coloring the whole thing here. You could put some of this in here just for color. So you can see I'm, I'm stamping all of this in here uh, before I add any water. And it looks like a big mess. So never panic at this point in the game because um, it's gonna all come together. So start light, start where it's the lightest with the yellow. And really try not to uh, get too much into the other colors. You can you can blend a little bit into the green, but try not to get too much into you know the dark pinks and purples. Because this is you know just a we're just showing a splash a splash of color, splotch, splash of color. It's a better word. And see so you're just you're just kind of dabbing. You're just dabbing just like we normally do. But you see how bright these colors are. And you know, with these, you just want to hit those little, uh, the tops. Down in here. And then let's hit the grass. So we're, we're dragging this grass down, but we're not seeing the end of it. And the same with, with these little vines too. Just kind of touching it, touching them. And you're, you're getting the idea that there's just a bunch of different things growing in this wild grass and she's standing in the middle of it and wishing she had a basket to pick all these flowers. So cute. And you can see how bright all these colors are. So let's add, because the flowers are so bright, let's add something bright to her hat. Let's make her hat really bright. You can see I'm still staying in each section and because the hat is tipped that highlight comes clear across here okay so now if you think about this oval coming straight up here let's put a little sky in and I'm just gonna use my use my dark blue here and my light blue this one, this one I grabbed 379 And let's just let's just mix these up a little bit and just go really light and just just kind of follow that you know the line of the of the oval a little bit remember you don't want that sky to go past past that line and and really you're just you're just kind of pushing 
pushing the color. And then in, in, uh, in the sample, I just put in a little bit of, um, of water back in here, so I had her in a little swimming suit, but we can do that too. So we can take some of this, this blue and we can just, just make a straight line, just decide, kind of decide where that water is gonna go and just brush it in. So you get the idea that there's water. And then a little bit darker on the top. Okay, that looks pretty good. So, sign and date. I hope that was helpful. And try this, try this one. It is really fun. And try the, try the clothing, because it's really fun too. And it actually makes these things a little more versatile uh, when you can do something like that. Put some little shorts on her. See how her little shirt kind of comes up? And I'm just using my blue, my dark blue. Fine tip, uh, make sure you pay attention to these, to the curve. Make sure you pay attention to that because that makes a big, big difference. And then erase your lines and put it on a card or put it in a frame and give it away and make someone's day. So thank you all so much for watching. I will see you next on Facebook Live next Wednesday. And please send me your comments. Please subscribe, please like, and let me know if you like this video. Thank you so much. I'll see you all again soon.